Right, so select your needles and bring them to D position or holding position. And you'll need your latch tool. And just take your yarn and make a slip knot in the end. And put that on the end of your latch tool. And tighten it up just a bit, not too much. And pull some slack down. And come to your come in between the first and second needle in holding position and just latch through like that just all the way along till the end So just coming up between the needles and catching the yarn in the hook and latching it through. And I'll just get this done quickly so if it comes off just put it back on the latch tool. get to the end just put that loop on the end needle just tighten that up and bring it down between the last two needles in holding position and then thread the carriage it's important that you pull the slack back through the tension mast Now if you can knit the first row before hanging the comb, do that. If you can't, you'll just have to try and hang the comb on here. Now I'm just going to attach a clip to the end so the yarn doesn't come loose. And then just knit your first row. And then hang your cast on comb. Or claw weights, whichever you prefer. Make sure you don't catch the yarn in the too, so otherwise you'll end up with a big loop. Then you can just continue this one. And just take that off and then just show you the edge. It's kind of a, a chain kind of edge. It's quite a hand knit look. There's no stretch to it, but if you don't need stretch, it's a great cast on to use. So, hope you'll try this cast on and thank you for watching.